So, Jason, don't move, but there's a spider right by what? you. <laughs> what are you doing? It's right by! Shut up! Hello, friends. It is our weekly chat with us in the car. <laughs> <laughs> so I realize that some of you may wonder why I bring the camera to our chats here in the car. Because a lot of the time, this is our only time to talk. This is like our one of our only times to Unless talk. Unless we're like laying in bed late at night. But... And even then, we have kids constantly coming in and do we have to turn our electronics in? Do we have, uh, do you have melatonin? Do you have ibuprofen? Do you have pain cream? And you're always watching the Maui video, so. Like, <laughs> like I was saying, this is kind of like our our time to talk without the kids hearing, especially as we're going into the holidays and talking presents or plans or that kind of stuff. It's like we have kids around us 24-7 now and it's hard to like find adult time. So I wanted to share with you what kind of what I do for uh, Christmas, a little little tips that I have. So I have my notebook here. You guys know, if you're regulars, you know my notebook. I have my notebook, but I don't always like to just bring it with me. One, because it can get lost and it's got like stuff in it I don't want, you know, the public to see. So anyway, but I have my kids' Christmas lists in oh, here. Cute. They're so cute. They're color coordinated. Let me get my thing back on there. Let me just show you Abby's is the most color coordinated and super cute but i don't know i don't think she's gonna be that private about it but let me just show you her color coded sec oh her color coded section there and that's so cute so she has like all these boxes next to all the items that she wants for christmas but it's in priority order which is really helpful have i already told you this yeah you did did i say this in a video I've heard you say this before. I think you said it in a video. What did I say it for our, my call the yeah, other day? Yeah, because then I don't want anyone crying on Christmas. But I said that on the call, not on the video. Oh, I don't know. You're getting old. You're repeating yourself. He's <laughs> one to talk. This is literally what we just talked about. Uh, no, I, re I notice my environment. I keep talking about the same things going on. Just boring. You just forgot what you said. Okay, regardless. If I already talked about this Christmas list thing, but... I don't want to have to bring that list with me, number one. Number two, I used to like check it off on this list, but my kids know my notebook and they know me and they know me in checking off lists and they find it in, in my notebook. I hide it between like random pages in the back of my notebook and they'll come and find it, especially Abby. She is a she is a little spy. She is so secretive and so she likes, smart. Yeah, she likes surprises, things out. but she also doesn't. She likes to make sure things are gonna happen. <laughs> and she's my child, so. I was just about to say that. Yeah. <laughs> so what I have to do is now I upload each of these sheets onto my phone, and I don't just take a picture of them, because then it's hard to find the picture when you know, you're know you at a grocery store. So what I do is I scan them into notes and if you guys have never done this before you can turn any picture or any image into a PDF scanned document so let me actually just find the ones I've already done and then you can save them at the top of your list so this is these are literally let's see if you can see it so I'll show you later how to do this but I literally scanned these pictures in and now they're all in my phone see that each Christmas list look at Chelsea's Christmas list. <laughs> she left out tea. Anyway, so cute. So now I don't have to take my notebook with me. My Christmas list stays with me and I think I'm going to create an actual list on in my notes section and I need to find out if I can make that private or at least hide it so my kids can't see it because I do like to check things off. I have to like know if I'm almost done with the list. And so just having an image isn't necessarily all I need. It's helpful when I'm at the stores, but then when I all is said and done, I need to check things off. So anyway, there's a few things that I'm gonna look for while we're at Costco. We are only going for a few things uh, just cause we just had his dad go to Costco for us. 
but I'm starting to work off of a cash budget for Christmas. And I kind of need to be meticulous this year with my cash budget. I need to like have little mini little pockets of savings in my checking account in order to make a couple bulk Amazon orders and then some in-store in purchases. So I am so far behind. Usually I am done, done by now. By now. Like yeah. I am buying stocking stuffers by now. And then we're wrapping within a couple weeks. So I'm super behind. It is what it is. It's 2020. Slacking. What have you bought for Christmas, hon? Oh, I, I percolate. I let it percolate in a little while. Until like the day before. <laughs> Not the day before. Maybe How I, often have you stopped on Christmas Eve? It's been a while. I've gotten better the last few years. That's all he's done better at is the past few years. Like two, three. Well, and like this year, you kind of have ridiculous ideas. So we didn't really even get basics at Costco. We got milk and cheese and eggs. I guess those are <laughs> basics They're because I forgot paper. to add egg to the list for grandpa and they are out of toilet paper. You guys, we've been telling you this video is going to go up really soon. I don't care if you're in Washington state or in the other side of the country or other side of the world. We're headed in the wrong direction with this virus. People are toilet paper to is out. already gone at Costco. It's already gone and it is 11:55 on a Friday morning. Oh, so we're at next Friday we need to uh We have get up and get going. four stockpiled four packages of toilet paper from Costco. And that's just because we've been each week. We each week we come and get one. Because it's we're worried about it doing what it did today. Doing what it did today. So we aren't hoarding them by buying four at a time. We got six butts. What? I know, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? Yes, there's six people to like send to the bathroom all day long. Plus we use it for like tissue for our nose and man, I've been having these allergy yeah. attack lately. He'll use a whole roll in one morning. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go do some Christmas shopping, which you guys can't really come for. If I find something kind of fun that I want to show you, I'll bring you along. But once we get into Christmas shopping, I don't trust my kids' friends. <laughs> they will tell my kids oh, yeah. what they're getting, or they'll giggle about it, which will drive them crazy. Or we could go and video wrong things. I know, that, would, and that would drive a certain Abby crazy. Make it look like we're getting like the worst thing for her. Yeah, <laughs> or the lowest priority. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we've got to start from the top. Top priorities. See if we can afford them. <laughs> Some of them are very, very simple, which is what we're going to start with today. Christmas hiding. So Ashley keeps coming out here and uh, we need to keep our hiding place secret, which is in all the Christmas boxes. Friends of my kids, do not tell them where our hiding place is. They can't get to it anyway. Although, we did get some lavender. Chelsea is having a really hard time falling asleep at night. Here, She's run out of lavender. All right. Um, I could use, I don't know, is the Christmas, is the Christmas decoration box close? These are all Christmas. No, like not decoration, wrapping. Uh, I think that's this one. Because I have stuff that can. Wrapping supplies, bags, and stuff. Are okay, this one. just let's get it down and I can put some stuff in that one. Get it off of my laundry room counter. In case you are new, this is my tree skirt. Don't break it. It's, it's really like, you gotta move it. Oh gosh. Oh well, this is heavy. Okay, put that back up so it doesn't like break. It's only three sided. All right, don't break it, don't break it. But look how beautiful it is. I actually can't wait to decorate now. I'm kind of getting in more in the holiday spirit. I know, I think we should put Christmas up early because. Well then talk to the kids. What else is there to look forward to? I don't know. Literally, the only reason why I haven't done it yet is because the kids said no. Don't drop on that on! Oh crap, Jason. What? 
Okay, so I have a bunch of wrapping supplies that I've been buying. I might make a DIY out of some of these, but I'm going to keep the wrapping paper bin close by. So yeah, I bought all these butt bags from the dollar store. And then this is like Christmas decorations. So leave that stuff in here. Okay, let's go ahead and just, can you open that lid? Sorry, he broke some buckets down here, cut off. But I've gotta convince the kids um, to let us decorate for Christmas. Maybe next weekend, maybe you're here. Oh, I took my purse in. So I need to just convince them. I think next weekend, next Friday when he's off, I might uh, start decorating. Cause that's like a couple days before Thanksgiving. <sighs> okay, you guys. We are jumping the gun on a project. It's probably gonna take us all weekend, but it is my wall. I have wanted to do this wall over for a long time, probably since we did this. But this project here, if you haven't seen this, our Ikea, these are Ikea shelves. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it because it's one of our best videos. <laughs> it's got a lot of views on it. I'll just say that, so I'll link it. But what I want to do is board and batten on this wall. Initially I wanted shiplap, but it's so out of place to do shiplap. So if I do board and batten, I can carry it from this corner right here. I can carry it from this height here across to this corner. And then the board goes across this whole wall and then it has the paneling. We also that goes. tie it in over on that corner too. Yeah, we tie it in on the other side of the shelf. So I'm giving him a, I'm, I do it with you. I do these projects yes, with you. Yes, we do it together. We do, we it, do together. it together. It's not a honey do list. It's a honey we do list. Oh, I like it. Honey we do list. That's how we do things. Yes. It's a honey we do time. So we're going to Lowe's. The kids are getting on their last Zoom call and eating the last scraps of brownies. Right, Chels? Your black glasses are right there on the, on the stairs. Can you get them? Give me a hug. How's school going? Yeah, boy. <laughs> sorry. I know, her chin is infected. I don't know, I think you might have gotten a little Rubber burn from the trampoline. Okay, put your cute glasses on. Kaylee traded for the black ones. <laughs> You're adorable. She, well, I You're so the, cute. I want the pink one back, but I'm Kaylee is just not letting me. I knew that was gonna happen. You need to keep your pink ones. She just, she okay, go get on your call. Go, 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 go. And then brush your teeth, because you haven't brushed today. All right, so we gotta pick out our wood. We want the three and a half inch one. For the four foot. The top Four inch. Of the top. So we are going across and getting all of our studs marked out. So we've got all the tape marked across here. We're getting some electrical scans on our thing when we're down lower. Here. Are you getting it again? No. Everything comes across here. Everything. There's like a whole big, lots of wood. Yeah, oh, but good. it's not good doing electrical up higher. There's some kind of an electrical down in here, but we're, we're going to nail it up here. You can see on this side of our kitchen. There's obviously some kind of electrical going on. There's an outlet here, and then there's a phone <laughs> jack, which I don't know who uses phone jacks anymore, and then that outlet over there. Um, so there's obviously something in there, but we're going just above that. All right, you guys, this is not a tutorial. We are just on the whim making this. So we have this piece back here. We're going to have a little wonky hole. We're gonna- It's out of it's the way, we'll fix it. Out of the it. way, we'll fix it. But we've got that piece there, and then this piece is gonna go across. Gonna go across. But because it doesn't go all the way, we are gonna move it down here like so. So that that's an even piece on that end, because this corner is gonna get a little wonky as we put the- And we'll putty it. And yeah. Or we, it yeah, so. we'll caulk it and putty it and paint it, but this corner has the pieces that go down, but it's a little tricky in the corner, so. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, we're getting our border put in place and we'll show you the corner. This is the one of the trickier parts. I'm gonna show you, Dana's holding it in place, how we try to get the corner trim in place. All right, so with our corner piece, we kinda want it to be flush coming down from each of these seams. So we're putting this piece in here and then I've got a little spacer, spacer that I'm kinda tacking it up here, but then this piece will mm, butt up against. We need to shy, yeah, we need to shy that way a little bit so we don't have a gap. Yeah, so then this piece will go down here and this piece goes down and so that be, they're completely butted up. And they'll in be the visually equal from each other. Right. You can see that. Versus if we had done, let me show you, this one flush to the wall and then this one butted up against it, this one is not as wide as this one. Mm hmm. All right, see that's how the corner piece just looks a lot more refined and finished. See up here it looks really good. All right, we should have used blue tape for you guys to be able to visualize it. But we have marked our two, well we've got our ends and then you do the math. Jason, you want to tell them the math? <laughs> You're just trying to make fun of me. Well, anyways, we've figured it out. Well, the, the math the is... The length, and then you... I'll get the piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> this is why it's not a tutorial. So What's you the math? The length. Uh, you subtract out the the uh, number of uh, you take. So these the width of these things times the number of ones you're going to use. That gives you a number. Then you subtract, subtract it from that from the whole length, and then you divide that by the number of sections spaces spaces. And that gives you the distance between each of them. <laughs> it's easier than it sounds. This is why you go to college, kids. That's right. <laughs> Just kidding. It's easier than, you, than it sounds, but it, it's, yeah. it's, it worked out it's good. three math problems. So apparently the, the term measure four times and cut once is very appropriate, which we did do. Let me show you. So we've got all our panels minus one. <laughs> we need to go and buy one more board, but we were off by one inch on every single one of these. Oh, panels. Can I tell? <laughs> we were off by an inch. Turn it around so they can see you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm showing them the wall. Oh. So, anyway. <laughs> yeah, we were off by a bit. So, they were, well, once we got down to here, it was like one tiny one. It was just off. Yeah. Because we measured from a slightly different spot and it all just sort of built up and it right. was off. So, we'd yeah. had most of them cut and we were just dry fitting them in on the measurements. And it wasn't working, and so we remeasured it. Anyway, and now this is why it's not a tutorial. <laughs> so, but they're all like dry fitted in there. Jason's going to snap them into place. All right, it is. It's not late. Kaylee, what time is it? Six thirty. Six forty-four. So this is obviously not going to get done tonight. I do love it, and I'm excited. So tomorrow when Jason's at work, I'm going to come. I'm gonna come through and putty all these holes and all the cracks and caulk them and get them nice and sealed up so that it's a seamless paint job when we go to paint it. Also on my to-do list pre-Christmas, and this is a good time to do it, is to go ahead and dust this whole shelf down, which is good from all the smoke and stuff. I haven't done that yet on, in this area, but also I need to take out one of these shelves, take it to Lowe's, and have them color match because that's what we matched this trim with when we painted all of these trim sections here. And so it all will be seamless across this whole wall. So Jason, don't move, but there's a spider right by what? you. What are you, are you... <laughs> There is, he's right by! Shut up! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh. Ah. You jumped! I didn't know you were gonna jump right to where it actually was. That was so good. <laughs> it's not even a spider. It's like a little stink bug. Stink bug. Say good night to everyone. You're done for the day. That filled my bucket so much. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so, so, so good. So, we're gonna end our day there, you guys. Sure. <laughs>
can't. I have to go and wash I'm going to go take a shower. <laughs> I know. We're done. Take care. And if you want to see the end result of this, or at least my progression on it as I work on it tomorrow, click that bell and the subscribe button so you can come back and watch more <laughs> of our you know, crazy behavior. Okay, take care guys. Good night. So Jason, don't move, but there's a spider right by what? you. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you... <laughs> there is! It's right there! Shut up! It is! Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah. Don't know where it is. You jumped! Oh. I didn't know you were gonna jump right to where it actually was! That, that was, was so good! It's not even a spider, it's like a little stink bug. Stink bug. Say goodnight to everyone, you're done for the day.